Right, hi friends, how are you doing? <laughs> oh, here in the United Kingdom and around the world, of course, we're, we're just facing a series of crisis after crisis, aren't we? A series of crises, one might say. Uh, what with fucking COVID crisis, fucking crisis in Ukraine, now we're going through the cost of living crisis. And now we're going through a political crisis. As some of you might be aware, our fucking Lord and Master fucking Mr. Boris Johnson has just resigned as Prime Minister. Um, now, personally, this, this has been going on for a while. We had Partygate, and if you don't know, that was when, under the COVID lockdown uh, bullshit, obviously everybody in Britain, I'm speaking about Britain here, not anywhere else in the world. Here in Britain, obviously, we weren't allowed to go out. We were allowed to go out for our daily exercise. We were allowed to go shopping. We were allowed to do a few menial things. Funerals, I think there was a limit of about six people or something, or ten people that you could have at a fucking funeral. Stuff like that. Um, and all the time while that was going on, in number 10 Downing Street, they were having party after party and taking the piss. I would suggest that's because they knew there was no threat, obviously, and they were just taking the piss, but not going over all that. However, it did cause, when it became known, it caused a certain amount of ill feeling amongst those fucking retards that went along with all the COVID fucking restrictions. Obviously, I wasn't one of them. I have no issue with Boris Johnson over that because I ignored every COVID restriction going, including the vaccination bullshit and all the rest of it. I've ignored it from start to finish and I will continue to do so. So that made him look bad with a lot of the voters and all the rest of it. Um, there's been a couple of other things. Recently, there's been some fucking politician called, uh, is an MP and his surname is Pincher. Pincher. And apparently has been fucking groping men uh, whilst he's been pissed up at private bars and stuff like that. You know, I mean, fuck me, you couldn't fucking make it up, could you? Um, so apparently Boris employed him uh, at a time when this guy had also been accused of doing the same sort of thing when he worked in the Foreign Office. So, you know, and Boris said that he didn't know anything about it when he took him on and then suddenly he did. Basically, long and short of it, the knives are out for Boris and he has resigned. Um, I've been suspecting for the last couple of days that it's just been, they've been trying to, I don't know, oh, sort of make, make politics seem interesting because no one gives a fuck. No one cares about what's going on. I'm not personally registered for vote, to vote at the moment. And I was, I was an, an ardent voter in the past. I always voted, but not now. I couldn't give a fuck. Fuck them. Leave me alone. I'll leave them alone. I'm just going to do my thing. And it's going to be reasonably pleasant and all the rest of it. I'm not going to break laws. And I'm going to be a nice guy. But I don't give a fuck about them. Um, so I thought that it was, it was to sort of like big up fucking politics. But no, now I've come up with a new, uh, a new, a new idea. And that is that... Under Boris Johnson, he said that COVID restrictions would never be brought in. That's what he said about, what, a year ago or something like that, when he fucking scrapped all COVID restrictions. At the moment, here in England, they reckon one in 30 people have got bullshit 19. And there are certain councillors up and down the country, and local government, certainly, calling for the reintroduction of mandatory mask wearing and or other fucking restrictions. Well, they can't fucking do that while be while Bojo the Clown is in fucking office, can they? Because he gave his word, <laughs> for what good that is, that they'd never bring back the restrictions. Without him, they can possibly bring back, or start to bring back, the bullshit 19 restrictions. Especially now that we're in a time where people, the average person, don't give two fucks about Ukraine anymore. That's sort of boring now, isn't it? No one gives a fuck about that bullshit. So, they're bringing back COVID. Interesting, isn't it? Anyway, long and short of it is, we've just lost our Prime Minister. No one really gives a fuck. Uh, except the media and certain namby pamby fuckwit lefty fuckwits. Did I say fuckwit twice in that sentence? Good. Bye bye, friends. I hope you enjoyed this fucking little rant. It was a rant, wasn't it? It was fairly incoherent. Uh, more, I suppose, just to show you my workplace at the moment. Just built this. Loft conversion. It's not bad, is it? That'll be a bathroom. Let's move this fucking curtain thing. That's the view. Yeah, not bad. Yeah. Bye-bye, friends. See you again. Bye-bye, friends. Bye-bye.